Okay, so even though this is not the Cybertruck update we were hoping for, we finally just got 2024.20.7, and this does include those supercharger improvements or DC fast charging improvements, as the release note says that we've been promised for a few months now. And yes, this does not have FSD supervised, unfortunately. However, this should make road tripping and just supercharging the Cybertruck that much quicker. So one of the biggest concerns and having been an early adapter of the Cybertruck, it definitely does take a lot longer to charge at a supercharger than you might prefer, especially due to its large 122 or 123 kilowatt hour battery pack. Uh, it's, it's massive, right? I mean, Model 3, X, S, and X don't have nearly this large of a pack. So by nature, it's gonna take longer to charge. Having said that, I'm excited to put this one to the test. Let's jump in the car. Spoiler alert, there's not gonna be too much else we're expecting here, but this is one of those big summer updates we were waiting for. Let's go take a look. So as you can see in the Cybertruck, one detail on the release note, DC fast charging. So this release includes various changes to improve your vehicle's DC fast charging performance. As we're anticipating here, this is going to be those charging curve improvements like we just discussed. As far as the rest of the release notes, there is nothing else aside from the main branch of 2024.20. And what's funny is right before we shot this video, we actually just received the day before 2024.20.6. And yeah, didn't even need to do a video on that. We got a new branch. 2024.20.6 simply had the traditional bug fix release. So having waited to this .7 release actually gives us something new. Again, nothing else is here, but as we usually do, let's take a look at the full build number. And this is 2024.20.7. DC8F9FA8B4EA. Uh, again, just kind of hopping around the UI, no indicators signaling anything else is new, and same here in our main menus. And again, like we said, unfortunately, FSD supervised is still not active just yet. So that is hopefully coming in the next 30 to 60 days. We're already in July. Elon said we should have it this month. We know Elon's time is not real time necessarily, but for now, at least we hopefully have supercharger improvements. So what we're gonna do, we're currently at 76%, as you can see on the top left of the screen. I wanna go ahead and lower this a little bit. We're not gonna be able to get it to near empty uh, in time for this video to go live. So we're gonna get it down a little bit and just see how much better the charging curve is truly gonna be. I will call out, there is only a 150 kilowatt charger here near us we're going to go to that one so it's not going to be a 250 or a 350 so this is only going to be the lowest level of improvements over what is possibly uh, compatible right now so let's go ahead and head to the supercharger So once we get the truck to a much lower state of charge, we'll go back to 150 and a 250 kilowatt charger to actually get a much better gauge on how well that charging curve has improved. I will say from 70 to 90%, as you saw here, that was actually not bad. So less than about 15 to 20 minutes to get that 20% at its highest capacity. That's pretty good. Usually that's the slowest aspect of the battery when it's nearly full. There's not enough electron room to move around, so it's very compact. So this is a great improvement automatically right off the bat. So again, nothing else massive in this update, still no FSD supervised. Hopefully that'll be coming in the next 30 to 60 days, like we said, we'll see. Drop a comment down below if you were able to run a range test already and let us know. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.